can't do. And whenever you do that, whenever you, whenever you tell your children's children about that, then that helps them realize that if that if they're doing if he's doing that for my grandparents, and then then he can do that for me, and like places and it uh, puts in a, like a seed of hope and a seed of love into that child's life from the grandparents from the grandparents because one thing why it's what the Lord put into my heart whenever I was reading those scriptures was why how much whenever whenever I was in the world how much did your parents and your grandparents pray for you and and call down heaven for you to get get you to you know keep a covering over you and then, um, and now you're like, now you're like doing better and strong in the Lord and stuff like that. And then, um, how much more would you have, would you, um, do that for them? Like whenever they're hurting or they're sick or going through something, then how much more should you call down heaven? for them whenever they're not knowing of the, the hope that's that was here that pertains to him and stuff like that because it's the same way because drug addiction and alcoholism and the healing in your body or your mind or emotion is still is a powerful stronghold and like you have to what are you doing? <laughs> that that moth that moth is attacking me. <laughs> Go ahead. I know that's why I love that video so much because when I pray I pray to put a hedge around the quishi and all of my grandchildren and my great grandbabies. Keep them safe. Because I don't ever want anything to happen to any of them. The year in 7118, even when I'm old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who you are to come. <clears throat> Your righteousness, God, that preaches to the heavens, you who have done great things, who is like you, God. And, but just go on. Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again from the depths of the earth. You will bring me again up. My even though we do see hardships and we do go through troubles and trials, but we can still proclaim it to all the generations to, um, to, you can proclaim it to all the generations to come that they'll know what your God is the true God because he's mighty and powerful and all these things and and he has kept you and even though everything was going array at one time like he worked it out for your good and that's one thing that was put on my heart like just to pray like lord help me to be bold in my testimony for these children to come like yeah i did 
go away from you for a while, but then you you kept me through that even though I did see hardships and trouble and, and experience bitterness and anger, but you made a way out, and that was through Jesus Christ. And I just thought it was cool because those two preaching, the preaching and the Bible study kind of went together because, you know, he was, it was like basically uh, what that preacher was talking about like the Old Testament where we had to find our way to God and and realize that he had already made a way for us and then to get um, out of that religious mindset of I'm having to work for all my salvation and everything like that and and because Jesus had already paid the way, paid the paid the price, price for the righteousness, and and I don't have to be righteous through my works, but I'm made righteous through Jesus's obedience, and I'm obedient. Faith and then yeah, <clears throat> and that. But that goes along with um, what I was talking to the kids about Sunday. And, um, Sweating. It's hard work carving that out, ain't it? <laughs> 